Good morning, everyone. How are you? And it is Sunday again. And today we are going to talk about how we are precious in God's sight. We're going to talk about birds and I have some binoculars. This is going to be interesting. And I want you to read together as a family, Matthew 10, 31 and Genesis 21 verses 8 through 21. So my first question is, what hobbies does everyone enjoy? Think about it for a minute. I came up with reading, knitting, photography, oh, model cars and airplanes. My cousin and I used to love to put them together when we were kids. Fishing, hiking. Do you have a hobby? Well, I want you to think about it and share that with your family. And do we think God had a hobby? Well, the Bible does not tell us that. But if God had a hobby, what do you think that would be? Well, I think it would be bird watching. So let me show you a couple. I just, I have this book on birds because I have a lot of bird feeders and I like to study the birds. But that, this is a great picture. This is a really pretty bird. So I think God would like to do bird watching. I can imagine him sitting in heaven with binoculars. Maybe he has a book with the pictures like I have, and he wanted to see how many he could find. Well, stretching my imagination, okay, I am going to say, I can imagine him saying, ooh, there's a cardinal, ooh, there's a blue jay, ooh, a sparrow. Well, a sparrow, there are tons of them. They're very common and ordinary. I must have, I don't know, 12 of them in my backyard. But God must have loved them because he made so many of them. So what birds are in your yard and what makes them unique? So after we're done today, I want you to go out and see how many birds you can find and what makes them unique. And if you want to, your mom, your dad, they all have my email. Email me what you think. I'd love that. So one day Jesus was teaching his disciples that they should not be afraid. Jesus said, don't be afraid when people threaten you. Two sparrows are sold for a penny, but not a single sparrow falls to the ground without your father knowing it. So don't be afraid. You are more valuable to God than a whole flock of sparrows. So a sparrow seems like a common bird. God loved common people. He made so many, and I don't think God sees us as common or ordinary. If he did, he would not love us in such a way that is uncommon and extraordinary. So the Bible says, give all your worries and cares to God, for he cares about you. We are more precious to him than a whole flock of sparrows. And we know how much he loves the sparrow. So let's bow our heads and pray. Dear Lord, thank you for making us common people, but not common to you. Because we are special and unique in your eyes. You have given us special gifts special hobbies, that we may go out and be more like you to everybody in the world. And we can do that because you love us in an extraordinary way. And we pray all of this through Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful week. Again, I'm going to send all of the resources. They'll be on St. Paul's website as well. I want you to spend this week going out and looking at the birds. These are all of God's creation and seeing what's unique about them. And once you do that, you can start to examine what is unique about you um, that God created and what are the gifts that God gave you that you're able to go out and serve the community and help others and, and be God's light in this dark world. So 
I hope everybody has a great week. I miss you. Um, stay tuned. Um, we will be offering a small program in August um, for the children, and uh, you'll be getting that information real soon. Thank you, and have a great day.